You can make me whole again. Right, can we stop? Bro, it's oh, completely gone. It's actually OK, as long as you put it here. Mm. You are a really good singer. I mean, today I'm really uh, struggling. But you've got a very good <laughs> voice, madam. I, I'm not saying I haven't. I, I know I can sing, it's just my sense of humour. Kenny gets by always by taking the mic out. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's something kind of lovely about the fact that you haven't been together and you're singing whole again. And then the, the words of the song, mm. it's, it's um, genuine. Baby, you're the one. I know. So turn me on. I know, but I feel oh. like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I love it. Whole again, it's it's a whole new meaning. You know, and on, on a personal level, I feel like I've done a full circle. You know, I'm more famous for being famous for all the mess ups in my life and and people forget that this is how this is why I'm here. And to be here today and being in three three years clean yesterday is a massive sense of achievement for me. I'm very, very lucky to be alive and I'm very lucky the fact that the girls believe in me now. Who'd have thought it? Eh? I know. Who'd have thought it? I don't mean to make you cry. <laughs> it's a big thing for me, you know. I thought we'd by the time I was 30. You know, it's a big achievement. The amount of rubbish I was shoving up my nose, you know, I should technically have been dead. So the fact that I'm here today at 32, I'm very proud of myself. I definitely feel like that atomic kitten bond is coming back. You know, it's taken a while. I think it was kind of like a cry of relief, really, because everything's gone really well up to now, touch wood. Um, and I just hope it stays on that path. With Kerry emotionally on the edge, her daughter Lily's turned up to rehearsals to lend her support. I've got to be honest, but I think with our Lily being there, I was actually really nervous. I get judgmental. She's just <laughs> getting very judgmental. She just... <laughs> I don't know where she gets it from. And Kerry may well be judged poorly if her vocals don't significantly improve before the big show. Kerry's kind of too loud over the top. She just needs to pull back. She's pushing it a bit much. Natasha and Liz. I kind of want in Kerry's microphone turned down a little bit because Kerry is just singing loudly all the time. I don't want to tell her. It's just because it's all new to Kerry. Me and Liz have been singing together for years, so we know how to blend our voices, whereas Kerry's come in and I think she's getting out of breath. So her breathing's going and her phrasing's going, so it's kind of clashing against what me and Liz are doing, so that's a big concern for me, really. I'll be honest with you, when it comes to vocals and knowing who goes where and what does what, I haven't got a clue. I just do my part and hopefully I'm doing it right. I literally can't perform the tightest eye without having to stop to catch my breath because it is a full on routine. They've got to put the hours in. If they don't, then we could have issues when we get to the stage. Yeah, it's been good to spend two years together, so it's all been a bit funny. Del, um, she come straight up and made a point of letting, letting us know. Yeah. I really don't want to bow down to the altar of blue. The guys are lovely and the tunes are good and the show's going to be better for having them in it, but let's be honest, none of the bands on the show are big news in the music scene anymore.